Good morning. Today we're going to take a function. In this case it's f of x equals the square root of x plus 1. And we're going to uh, find the slope. So our question is we want the slope of the t line or the tangent line at a point. And the point is 8, 3. And then uh, this is part one. And then part two of the question is uh, we want an equation for the T line at eight, three. Um, these are two skills uh, that you're going to need uh, quite frequently, actually. Um, in the next sessions, we'll be uh, finding uh, slopes of tangent lines by rules, but at this point to find the slope of the tangent line you're going to use the limit definition of the derivative which is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Um, in this case um, x is 8, so we'll plug in, in that, this x will be 8, so we'll say the limit is h goes to 0, and the function is um, the square root of 8 plus h plus 1 minus the square root of uh, 8 plus 1 divided by h. So we'll clean this up a little bit. So I have a limit as h goes to 0. Uh, 8 plus 1 is 9 plus h. We have the square root of 9 plus h minus the square root of 8 plus 1 is 9. And of course, it's 3 over h. And then we get uh, the limit as h goes to 0 of the square root of 9 plus h minus 3 over h. We have the form uh, 0 over 0. So just like before when we were evaluating limits with radicals in the numerator um, uh, added to a, uh, either another radical or a constant or subtracted in this case multiply by the conjugate. So we say the square root of 9 plus h plus 3 divided by square root of 9 plus h plus 3 and then we multiply through the numerator and we get the limit as h goes to 0 square root times the square root is just 9 plus h uh, negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9 then we get h don't expand the denominator wouldn't get much anyway if you did so now we see that the 9 and negative 9 cancel. The h's cancel. And we get a 1. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over the square root of 9 plus h plus 3. Well, the limit as h goes to 0, the um, numerator is 1. The denominator, h is going to 0. So we have the square root of 9, which is 3, plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So there's the slope of the tangent line at um, the point 8, 3. Now we need the slope, I mean the equation of the tangent line at x equals 3. At uh, the point eight three, sorry. So we're going to take our slope, which is a lot of times we say it's m equals one over six, and then we're going to use the. Uh, you can use the other formula. I kind of just like going right here, 
uh, to the y equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form. We have the slope, so we have y equals 1 6 x plus b. Um, um, we, we can use the, the, uh, the formula y equals uh, y naught plus 1 6 x or 1 6 times x minus x naught, but uh, I think it's, since we already have this form right here and we already have a value for x and y, just put in that value for y and let's just solve for, for, for b. So we'll put in that y, value for y, which is 3 because we're at the point. Uh, 8, 3, and then we say 1, 6, x, the uh, x value is 8, and then plus b, and then we'll just solve for b, we get 3, uh, 8 over 6 is 4 over 3 plus b, so we get b is equal to 3 minus 4 over 3, getting a common denominator of 3 over here, we get 9 minus 4 is 5 thirds equals b. So the equation of the tangent line at point 8,3 of the function f of x equals the square root of x plus 1 is y equals 1 sixth x plus 5 over 3.